Imagine cutting edge marketing visuals at lightning speed. With the unlimited amazing image creations that you have with Mistral's little chat, you'll be leaving your competitors in the dust. With Mistral, you'll be crafting your own scroll stopping social media content in seconds. Let's go. Hey friends, you know that feeling when you've gotten into a groove on your AI image creation game, only to run out of credits as you're about to reach your creative climax? Well, your boy Adrian is here to let you in on a little secret. A secret that will not only keep you in the game, but put you on top of the leaderboard. I'm not talking about just any AI images. I'm talking about Flux 1.1 Pro images. Now you might be asking yourself, Adrian, this sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Well, my inquisitive friends, there is none. Consider this a gift from the French. I'm talking about Mistral's Le Chat. Mistral's Le Chat provides an extremely capable platform as a matter of fact, while most chat interfaces use a single AI model, Mistral's Le Chat uses three French models behind the scenes. Crazy French and their menage aux trois. When it comes to image-related features, Mistral's capabilities fall into one of two categories, image viewing and image creation. For image viewing, you can attach an image and you can get a description of that image, or you can have that image interpreted. Suppose it's a chart or a diagram. If the image has to do with a puzzle, you can ask the chat to solve the puzzle. And regarding image creation, this is what we're here to talk about. This is the good stuff. All right, let's get down to creating some masterpieces. To get started, simply go to mistrule.ai and in the bottom left corner, you can click try the chat. Click right there. That will take you to the Mistral the chat login page where you can sign in with Google, sign in with Microsoft or your email address. And here we are at the very simple LeChat Mistral interface. Before we start creating some amazing artwork, I want to point out very quickly that in the top left corner, you can click this little icon and then you'll see your name and the email address associated. And then you have some typical account menu options when you click this little down arrow. And one of the things you may want to go ahead and do, what I like to do, is go ahead and toggle the theme. Ah. <laughs> Because that's how us creatives like to work, right? In the dark. And then you'll see over here on the left side, we have new chat, search. And then down here, you would have your different chats that you've been working with. And I'm saying chats, but we're really focusing right now on image creation. But you can really use these when you want to divide up your work into maybe different projects. You can have a different chat thread for each of your projects. I'm going to go ahead and close this menu by clicking right here. And let's start creating. In the interest of making this tutorial as productive as possible for you, I'm going to give you image creation examples for the following different use cases. Marketing and advertising, social media content creation, digital art and concept design, and fashion and interior design. Marketing and advertising. Imagine cutting edge marketing visuals at lightning speed. With the unlimited amazing image creations that you have with Mistral's little chat, you'll be leaving your competitors in the dust. I have some props prepared. Our first example is going to be for a skincare ad. I'm gonna go ahead and paste my prompt in here. You'll see that I'm using my focus framework for this prompt, which stands for focal subject, overall setting, camera angle and composition, unique details, and style and mood. Feel free to experiment with very short prompts if you'd like. However, I find that I usually get better results when I expand the prompt and I want to give you the best results as quickly as possible. So that's what I'm going to do for these examples. Feel free as we move forward to pause the video if you want to read any of these prompts in full. Normally in a chat interface, you get a text response. However, we want to make sure we get an image back. So it's important that we choose an option right down here for image generation. So make sure you click that. And then you can go ahead and press the button at the bottom right and we have our image. However, I'm not sure if it looks like a skincare product type of image. Maybe that's the whole point. You don't want it to look like a traditional skincare ad. So this may work as this person does look like they have nice skin. And just as a reminder, Mistral's Le Chat is using Flux 1.1 Pro behind the scenes. And I'm pretty confident that Flux can deliver for us a better image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click regenerate right there. So <laughs> this does look like an ad. It looks actually more like a fashion ad than a skincare product. I think we might need to modify the prompt a little. I'm going to click right here, 
to edit this prompt. And instead of it saying a luxurious setting showcasing a vibrant new skincare product, I'm going to specifically say that the woman is holding a skincare product. Okay, a luxurious setting in which the woman with a perfect complexion is holding a new skincare product. And for camera angle and composition, I'm going to change this from features to face, a close-up shot that emphasizes the models. I'm going to say face since we're dealing with this skincare product. And I just noticed in the unique details, we actually do have text mentioning that the woman is holding the skincare product. However, what I've learned in creating quite a few images from text using text to image models is that the text at the higher part of the prompt usually is given more weight. Now that we have the woman holding the product up here, near the top, closer to the top, let's see if we get that. Perfect. That is beautiful. This is a, an image for a fictional skincare product. However, with that kind of beauty, I think I would go ahead and buy it. Take my money. Let's try another. Okay, I'm pasting in a prompt for a fashion ad, and this is going to be for a fashion brand advertisement. And I have a model wearing a flowing evening gown, and let's see what we get. Beautiful. I love it. Social media content creation. Friends, we've all done it. Stayed up way too late, doom scrolling, checking out all kinds of amazing social media posts. With Mistral, you'll be crafting your own scroll-stopping social media content in seconds. Let's go. Okay, I pasted in a prompt for a social media post where someone is on the beach showing off their new eco-friendly swimwear. I like it. For this social media prompt, we are asking for a woman in an urban environment showcasing trendy streetwear. This is interesting. We received the image. However, we also received a message saying, sorry, I couldn't generate the image you requested due to the inappropriate content in the prompt. If you have any other non-offensive image generation request or need assistance with something else, feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to help. And then it went ahead and created the image. But let's see, was there something in here that could be considered inappropriate? I don't see anything. I'm going to let you in on a pro tip. One big advantage to using Mistral's LeChat to create your images. Since we don't know exactly what it is in that last prompt, I'm typing into the chat, please let me know what the issue is with my last prompt. Even though we have this selected down here, image creation, when this has happened, I've been able to get a response back from the chat telling me what needs to be fixed. Let's see how the chat responds. The issue with your last prompt is that it contained content that's not appropriate or respectful, is important. Okay, that's very general. I took a moment and found the exact wording that I used before to actually get a helpful response from the chat. What specific part of the prompt is causing the issue? Let's see how the chat responds. And there you go. It's telling me tiny waist, flat tummy, long legs, and a round bottom. Just change that and we're good. And I'm guessing I probably don't have to change all of that to make the image creation work, but let's check it out. Let's see. I'm going to go over here. Notice when you hover over your prompt, you'll get a little edit button and a little copy button. I'm going to go ahead and press edit. I'm going to try just removing this last part first and see if that does it. If not, we'll revise some more. Let's go. And that seemed to have worked. And I like this image. Our request, if you remember, was some fashionable streetwear, and I think this will qualify as fashionable streetwear. I think it looks pretty good. Digital art and concept design. It's time, my friends, to use what the French gave us, to create your own Monet or Renoir or Ratatouille. Okay, maybe not Ratatouille. This is where AI truly becomes your creative partner, pushing the boundaries of artistic expression. This time, we're going to ask for a futuristic warrior in an epic landscape filled with fantastical elements. Okay, friends, we have our futuristic warrior, and she is pretty awesome. Okay, friends, now we're asking for a beautiful woman with a futuristic cityscape under dramatic action-filled circumstances. How is that for being vague? That's what happens sometimes when you ask Chachi to expand on a prompt, 
Sometimes it never was a completely expand. Sometimes it wants to leave some of the details to chance. So let's see what we get. Pretty cool. Okay, friends, now we're asking for a beautiful superhero with a vibrant city skyline as sunset, creating an epic backdrop. And the chat is saying, I'm sorry, I cannot generate this image. So I'm going to ask what specific part of the image is causing the issue. Superhero in flight, particularly in the context of a vibrant city skyline as sunset. Okay. All right. Can we just say city skyline at sunset? Okay. That worked. But I think we might be able to get a better version of this image. I'm going to click regenerate. We ended up with a superhero with Apple Vision Pro glasses on. Fashion and interior design. From haute couture to home decor, Mistral is your secret weapon. All right, we're going to create a fashion ad with a female supermodel showcasing some high fashion in an opulent interior filled with luxurious furnishings. And Mistral delivered quite a beautiful creation, if I do say so myself. And now we'll create an image of a gorgeous woman in a modern interior design space filled with stylish decor elements to represent interior design. Very nice. My friends, this crazy AI world is just getting started. And I don't want you to miss out. Subscribe to the channel and join me on this AI revolution. Speaking of AI revolutions, remember that incredible video I did on Recraft AI, where we created realistic images, played with vector art, and created some sexy mock-ups? You gotta check it out. It's a must watch for any aspiring AI digital artist. Remember friends, the world of AI is vast and ever evolving. Embrace the future and let your creativity soar. Until next time, I remain your humble servant and purveyor of all things extraordinary.